Last summer, the Secretary of the Army ordered an independent review of the command climate at Fort Hood. The findings and recommendations of that review paint a picture of systematic failures of leadership. I fully support the actions directed by the Secretary and Chief of Staff to address these failures. Some of those actions include changes to policy. But make no mistake, policy did not create the culture at Fort Hood. Policy did not lead to the deaths of Private Morales, Specialist De La Cruz, PSC Rosecrans, or Specialist Guillen. Policy means nothing without leaders who enforce it. We fought to ensure our NCOs had the authority they needed to take action. No other army in the world entrusts non-commissioned officers to lead their forces the way we do. Leaders from team leader to command sergeant major bear the responsibility to care for and protect our soldiers and families. Throughout the course of this review, it was clear leaders at multiple echelons failed to take actions that uphold our values. Responsibility without accountability corrodes the trust necessary to build cohesive teams. While this review focused on Fort Hood, every leader in the Army should take notice, myself included. As a non-commissioned officer, I take this personally. We have to take the first step toward building cohesive teams that truly care for one another. It starts with each of you. You have the power to influence the culture of your unit, your squad, and your soldiers. By choosing not to act, you're enabling the same destructive environment that affects so many, not just at Fort Hood, but throughout our Army. We have the greatest leaders in the Army and the greatest Army in the world. We will rise to meet the challenges of our day as we've done time and time again. Now is the time to put people first because winning matters and we remain Army strong.